What's up, YouTube? So, we're not talking about discs in this particular video, so I'll get all these out of the way. What we're talking about is all the other stuff that goes into disc golf. All the other equipment that uh, helps you along the way, mainly footwear, other uh, clothing type items, and your bag. It's important to have a nice bag um, to be able to carry all the stuff you need. This bag was very inexpensive um, for me. I got a really good deal on it. I think I got it um, using a Groupon for uh, Next Adventure, and I got a super great deal on it. Hasn't let me down. Uh, it's a good bag. It's a solid bag, and uh, I'm going to be doing a quick review of the bag as well as showing you all the other things that are inside the bag and uh, some other key pieces of equipment that I carry with me all the time. Okay, so one thing, it's nice to have a hat. This one was given to me by Scott Papa, you know, uh, Discraft Pro, super awesome guy. I met him at the Beaver State Fling last year. He's really cool. Um, I bought some Discraft plastic from him. He had some really awesome rare plastic there for sale, and I bought I bought a uh, disc from him, and uh, he gave me, he's like, oh, you got a Discraft disc, you're going to need a Discraft hat. He hooked me up, so it's pretty cool. I hope to run into Scott again. Uh, I don't know if, I doubt he'll see this video, but I hope to run into him again this year. I had to be your safe fling and uh, catch up with him for an interview or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. I know he's a Northwest guy, so I'm assuming he'll be around. Um, yeah, be your safe fling. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Other important equipment are your shoes. I see a lot of people out there in flip flops and sandals and stuff. Maybe if you have the kind that, like, you know, are like a strapped on, not like flip flops, I, I really don't recommend. Maybe if you have like some heavy duty kind of like running, hiking, sandal type thing, that's probably fine. But I still kind of recommend you get some more athletic type shoes. These are um, like light hiking shoes pretty much. They're, they work really well, give you good ankle support. They have nice Vibram um, treads on the bottom that, are, that have a little bit of shock absorption. And I actually find that having a nice aggressive tread is, is not only good for, for the woods. I play a lot of woods golf out here in Oregon, lots of hills. Um, that's good, but... Uh, I really found that wearing these every single time has really helped me, every single time I, I throw has really helped me with my consistency because it, it, I have the same feel underfoot when I'm pivoting through my shot, right? So you've, as, you, as you're transferring your weight from your, from your back foot to your lead foot, you're coming through, throwing, right there, you know, your, your hips come across and you're following through, right there, it's important to have a nice smooth kind of pivot on your heel as your hips are opening up and you're releasing the disc and following through and uh, actually wearing the same shoes all the time has helped me uh, build consistency with that so that's good so yeah I recommend some good shoes with some ankle support you can lace them up tight and you're not going to be flopping around twisting your ankle or anything it's the last thing you need out there onto the bag so it's an Innova Deluxe bag um, I really like it I think it's supposed to hold like 15 discs or so but you can do this simple modification that I did to increase that Right, so I'll give you the quick rundown now. There's a whole video about this on my channel from when I did it, but I pretty much can show you all the same things in just a second. So I folded that over and ran some stitching, just hand stitched it. Same thing here, pretty sloppy job, but it doesn't really matter. Same thing over here, just kind of folded this pocket over, ran a little stitch right there. Then I attached this clip to the D ring, sewed it over, melted it with a lighter to, so you keep it from fraying. Then I sewed this part onto here, so now I can put a bunch of extra discs in this pocket. I think it's like six, five more drivers, six more drivers, four putters. It, it adds a lot of capacity to your bag, so that's good. And then I redistributed the other stuff that I was storing in here into other pockets. So speaking of pockets, you got the putter pocket. You got this guy that you can use for storage, or you can put more discs in there like I showed you. You got a nice water bottle holder here with a mesh bottom. Um, I'm not sure it would fit like a Nalgene type bottle. It might just fit one of those, but I know it fits anything slimmer like that, like a stainless steel type bottle should be no problem as long as it's not real wide. I use a platypus soft bottle, so I have no problem with it. And you have this nice accessory pocket here that's holding a lot of the stuff I, I carry here. It's got um, the, the top pocket here, a little mesh pocket. I, I always leave it open like this. It's just hanging back here, and I have a lot of stuff up there and then you have an interior pocket right there. Now looking into the bottom of the bag, down here I got uh, an extra chamois cloth, a garbage bag, 
and a boatload of sticks and pine needles and stuff apparently. Um, and you got so you have this padded bottom part that keeps the whole shape there. You can see even without discs in it, it keeps the shape, which is nice. It comes with a multi divider with two different dividers that you can put into here to uh, separate your plastic, but uh, I, I never used it. It just kind of annoyed me or whatever. I can never get it to look right or feel right, so I just took it out. And I think you actually hold a little bit more plastic um, with it out, so that's good. And then you got this interior pocket right here. It's kind of a sneak secret pocket, but not that secret. And here I have, um, oh, wait, one more thing. Then we'll go on to what's in the bag itself. Um, I have custom zipper pulls I made myself. You can see I'll do that on my channel if you want. I have the backpack straps going for this bag. Um, it was not very long after getting the bag that I got these and it made a huge difference. I would highly recommend getting these um, for any bag this size or bigger because when it's fully loaded down with plastic and other stuff it gets pretty, it gets pretty heavy and you don't want to be wearing out one shoulder or the other kinking your back and stuff while you're carrying around. It's nice to evenly distribute the weight across your back so backpack straps highly recommended. I feel like they should just kind of really Make the bag a little bit more money and just make the backpack straps come with it, is what I, is what I say. Um, so, what is in the bag? What else is in the bag, I guess, is the only thing left to talk about now. The embarrassing part. So, um, first of all, before I get into that, I uh, always carry a knife in one pocket. For, for utility, cutting stuff, whatever. I always carry a flashlight in my other pocket. Um, flashlight's definitely a good thing to have in your bag if you don't already carry one. Um, just for, you know, obviously searching for discs, you're losing light. This thing can be a lifesaver, a disc saver, if you will. So those are always in my pocket. I also always carry a small backpack with me that has lots of other things, different tools, first aid kit, um, pretty thorough first aid kit, stuff like that. Um, for emergencies and whatever else. I always carry that kind of stuff on me all the time and, you know, comfort items and stuff. So some of that stuff I might have in my bag if I didn't carry it all the time. Like, I would probably have a more thorough first aid kit at least. But I have a small one in here and I have one in my bag that's, you know, at worst in the car. So, um, all right, so what else is in the bag? What else do I carry with me? I got some matches in here, some Tums, <laughs> uh, dry socks. This is, a, this is a nice one, man. If you play around in the rain or if you just end up getting wet a lot of times in the winter time it's real soggy in places we play out here so you end up stepping in puddles and stuff really nice to take your boots off after the round and put some dry socks on it's a nice morale booster got an emergency poncho here i've never used just in case i really got stuck in the middle of a course in the downpour or something um and then i have an extra towel this one's from the disc golf depot microfiber towel jerry hooked me up with um just as a backup in case my other towel gets drenched or lost or whatever keep dry back up some stuff so that's good with that in there and in those bags they stay dry I've, I've had my whole bag get wet and they still are in good shape I have a bunch of other stuff in here as well here is my hook lab mini I use sometimes I don't really play a lot of rounds that are that serious so I need to use a mini but every once in a while I'll use it um, here's my just some Napkins or whatever. Here's some homemade scorecards that I made. Really, really simple. I'll show you how to do those on my channel if you like. Got a band-aid floating around here apparently. Should be in the first aid kit. So first aid kit, I just got a few band-aids, an alcohol swab, and one large non-stick dressing just in case anybody gets caught significantly or whatever. You can apply some clean pressure to that. Also got tweezers in here. Very nice for, you know, obviously taking thorns and uh, splinters and stuff out of your hands while, while you're in the round. And I have some Disc Golf Depot cards in here in case anybody expresses a need for some new plastic. I can uh, send them over that way because Disc Golf Depot is awesome. And finally, all kinds of crap in this pocket. Got some pencils. None of those short stubby ones. Real pencils. Number two. <laughs> I got some snacks. These are actually highly recommended by me. Uh, Mariani honey bars. All right, so you see what's in it, tells you what's in it. Check out the ingredients, this is my favorite part. It's just where everything should be. Ingredients sesame, peanuts, honey, raisins, almonds, sunflower kernels, pumpkin seeds. 
Yeah, that's it. There's no giant words you can't pronounce on there. There's no unnecessary crap. It's just good, wholesome, natural food. I love these things. Highly recommended. Uh, got a pen? Exciting, right? This this is riveting. Riveting television. R riveting YouTube television. Um, sunscreen. I'm clearly white as a ghost. Sunscreen is important. I got this pen thing here. Um, some cheesy sunglasses I pretty much never wear. I'm not even sure why they're in here. I got some soap. Some, like, concentrated camping type soap if I ever need to wash my hands out in the course. I don't think I've ever used it, but I have it. I have some meds here. Just some, um... Motion sickness pills, I have a weird inner ear disorder. I also have some ibuprofen and Benadryl. Seriously guys, on a little tangent here, carry some Benadryl with you at all times. Go pick up a box, throw it in your in your bag, in the car, you know, ladies, throw it in your purse, whatever it's going to be. Um, my buddy had a severe allergic reaction to something he, he didn't know he was allergic to. He went home, he was like doing all the things he could think of to try to calm down. He didn't know what was going on and, and thank God our friend came home, found him, was like, dude, you're having an allergic reaction, take some Benadryl right now, calm down, you know, slow your heart rate, that sort of thing. Quite possibly saved his life. He didn't have the money to go to the hospital and stuff. He was just trying to feel better, you know, he didn't know what was happening and uh, he wasn't going to just feel better on his own. The Benadryl was a big part. Um, allergies are a big deal. Peanut allergies, stuff like that, are very dangerous. So, little uh, side rant. Carry some Benadryl. Save a life, perhaps. I got a lighter. I got a pen. I got another cheesy pencil. Probably robbed from some golf course or something. Um, nail clippers, because I'm kind of uh, anal about my nails. I don't. I really don't like them to have any kind of color on them, or if I get, you know, one gets ripped up or something. And uh. Got some more Tums there. And last but not least, this cheesy multi-tool that I've never used. I just threw it in here for whatever reason. Because it's small and might use it someday for something. But probably not. <laughs> so there it is. There's everything else in my bag. An embarrassing look into the bag of uh, a golfer. So maybe you get some ideas of, of some things that you can carry around. Oh, that's what I almost forgot. I need to put a Sharpie in the bag. I try to always have a Sharpie in the bag, and I forgot that I don't have one anymore. Click Sharpie, always good. Mark your disc. Uh, let somebody else mark their disc if they haven't done it. That sort of thing. Sign an ace disc, which uh, which does happen. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.